So today we're here with marketing tips. And what I want you to do is write them down. And I'm going to leave the poster up so you can see it while I talk from the background. So the first one you have are Facebook ads. And Facebook ads, they're easy to do. You make a separate page connected to your account. And you market your business with Facebook ads. You could do some split tests to make sure that the, the um, ad you're doing is, is better. You do two different ads and see which one brings back the most money for you. The second one are Google ads, and it's also similar, except you'll go on to Google, and you could YouTube any of these videos to have more precise on how to do Google ads, how to do Facebook ads. If you are in-house for the clown school, you will learn how to do it here, but if you are just watching this short clip, you're just going to YouTube another uh, how to make a Google ad, how to make a Facebook ad on YouTube, and you'll definitely find millions of videos already made that show you in detail how to do them. If you don't have a YouTube channel, but you have a business, you definitely have to start your YouTube channel because you have to start producing content. Once you produce content, people are going to know who you are. And when they know you, they will flow you. Share that YouTube out on all of your social medias. Tell your friends to share it out as well. Another way to market your business is do a package deal. So this started when I was a, um, a musical theater school teacher. We packaged the deal, right? Rather than them pay for costumes down the road, I just charged a higher monthly price and parents loved it because they were just set with that price every month. They got the wow factor. They got all their costumes and stuff included and then they got the recital and um, they would just purchase the tickets to go see the show later on down the road, depending on how many people they wanted to go. You could do that with anything. What kind of a package deal could you give? So if you're a real estate agent, you might package up pictures and cleaning the house and staging it as a package for a higher percentage rate. And then another good marketing tool is making a free ebook about whatever it is you're selling and then enticing people to get the free ebook by just submitting their email and you send them the ebook automated. And then from there, you have their email to consistently market to them with email marketing, which I didn't put up here. Definitely email marketing, you must do. Six, you could do raffles, free giveaways. That's a really fun way to collect emails. Testimonials or word of mouth, that's been one of my best, biggest ways of business. Word of mouth, whether it be my daughter in third grade telling all her friends to come to my musical studio, um, or whether it be people whose homes I've listed and sold telling other people to have me list their properties. And the last way are mailers. So the thing you should know about mailers is you could actually oop, easily go to the post office and pick, pick an area and the post office will deliver all of your cards to everybody with a certain within that certain zip code and it's not as expensive as you would think you could actually do door to door but you cannot stick anything in anyone's mailbox that is a big big no-no but you can get the bags to hang on the doors or make cards that are hangers for the door um, and or you could just knock on the door just you know be careful of where you're at knock on the door, give them a present. Maybe it's a magnet with your business card or pen. I love the pens. People love the pens. I do stylus pens so that they can really use them on their iPads. Everybody has an iPad or a phone and the pens are actually not that expensive, but if you get the stylus, they love it and you can put all that information. I got a variety of pens over the course of my businesses. so. You could look up companies like Myron or Four Pens or something like that. I don't know. There's a bunch of them. But these are all great ways. The pens are definitely a great um, incentive. I put them in the bags. People are forced to open the bags because they want the pen. They want to see what's inside. Little goodies are a great marketing tool. So I hope that helps. I hope you guys learned some new marketing tips. You could do more and more and more. You just have to think about all the ways you could really make people want to learn about your business. I hope that helps, guys. If you can't see, I'll move you in closer. But those were my quick tips for today on marketing. I hope you guys have a great night.